Hello, Monica. How are you? Good. How are you doing today? I am doing great. I am loving 1883 so far. And I have to say, I loved you as the monitor many moons ah, ago. Thank you. <laughs> An arrow versus crossover. So uh, first off, I find the dynamic between Thomas and Shay really fascinating, especially given the time period and the journey that they are going on. Can you discuss working with Sam Elliott and what that dynamic is like? Sam, I, when I first met Sam, it was at uh, the saloon on the ranch we were staying at in our little COVID bubble. Mm -hmm. And he spotted me across the room. He came over to me and he like, he grabbed me by the shoulders and was like, he looked at me with those, those eyes that he, his, his gaze. And he was like, we're going to have a great time working on this together. He gave me a hug and that just set the tone for what the rest of the, the relationship was going to be. But he's amazing to work with. He's kind, he's generous. He loves the process of filmmaking. Like he never goes back to the trailer in between scenes and turning cameras around. He sits on his Apple box in the dirt and just looks at everyone around and just talks and engages with everyone. He's yeah, it's been fun working with him and we're still working and it's yeah, it's been a great experience. And that chemistry that we built before the cameras started rolling, it spilled right over into their relationship. Thomas and Shay, they served in the war together. Mm -hmm. Um, Shay was Thomas's captain in the Civil War, the Buffalo Soldiers. And when the war was over, uh, they didn't really, the responsibilities changed for what the Buffalo Soldiers were doing and they didn't sign up for that. Mm -hmm. So they left, they became Pinkerton agents and they've been brothers. Like they, the right hand knows what the left is doing. You know, they could, they could sit at a campfire for an hour and not say a word, but it, it'll say everything about who they are they're comfortable together and they just, they're, they're protective over each other. It's like a 1800s bromance. <laughs> I love that. Now, speaking of the civil war, which was so recent in the past of this series, how do the racial tensions on that front come into play for Thomas, but also on this journey that, that you're on, there's like Romani people, there's different, there's different sects of people that yeah. don't get along with each other either. And that must also come into play. I love how Taylor, he wrote these characters. Um, not, not a lot is said throughout the series about Thomas's race, mm. about slavery, about, you know, where he comes from. Thomas brings it up with, you know, just conversations between him and Shay that come up here and there and conversations that he has with other characters that come up like uh, Noemi's character mm. here and there. But it's, it's, um, they're not leaning into it. And I love that. Like, he's just a person. There was just people back then, you know, like they, these stories need to be told about, you know, the black cowboys and they were cowboys that happened to be black. So they had lives, they had families, they had, you know, when they're coming and leaving, exiting screen, where are they coming from? You know, where, where are they going? Who, who are they going to talk to? And we really, you know, focused on Thomas and Shay and their relationship and other stuff, it'll come out, you know, as it comes out. But it, it wasn't like, and in the, in the gypsies and the Romani people, like they had a voice. And now you're seeing it through their lenses when you didn't get to see that in, in television shows in this genre of the past. You're seeing things in Thomas's lenses as well that we're not recreating the wheel here with the Western, but you're just seeing it from different points of view. And that's great how Taylor, how he wrote that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Westerns have always been a staple of American cinema, but I feel like Taylor Sheridan really hits on something that speaks to many more people. Many yeah, people who do not watch Westerns. Like you myself. could see, <laughs> you could see yourself in some yeah. of these people. I, mm -hmm. as a kid, if I see Thomas in a Western and I, you know, I'm watching Westerns with my parents, I'm like, I, I, that's me. Or I, <laughs> I know that's, you know, that's us. We can do that. We were around back then, you know, we weren't written out. Absolutely. And it means something, you know, that yeah. that that representation means something, especially Absolutely. when it's been absent for so long. Definitely. Well, I cannot wait uh, for everyone to witness this together like next week. Uh, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, you're doing an amazing job. I cannot wait Th to see the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Have a great day.